Welcome to Denton, Texas, a suburb just north of Dallas. If you know anything about our great state, you know that everything is bigger in Texas. This includes the weather and the powerful storms that can devastate our community. This issue is so important that Congress passed the Emergency Management Reform Act to explore innovative alternatives for those displaced by natural disasters. Our Samsung Solve for Tomorrow contest project revolves around this need for emergency housing and the desire to do more for our community. In our search to design temporary disaster relief housing for those in need, we applied STEAM education principles to develop a solution. We decided to start our journey by exploring the science behind the weather. For this, we enlisted the help of our local TV meteorologist. Through video conferencing, the meteorologist helped us gain a foundation for the weather and the natural disasters that can occur in North Texas. We then contacted the American Red Cross and FEMA to set up a meeting with their natural hazard specialists. These are the men and women that are called into action when disaster strikes. These experts provide us with invaluable knowledge on what problems they face in the field. We exchange questions, comments, thoughts, and ideas, hopes of finding a solution. The folks at FEMA also explain to us that many of the people affected by disasters are the elderly and disabled. Since every shelter must adhere to strict Americans with Disabilities Act guidelines, we decided to place ourselves in their shoes for a day. We spent a day navigating our school while constrained in a wheelchair to see challenges that are presented. This gave us an awareness to what our shelters must include to resolve any issues our occupants might face. This insight led us directly to the next phase of design. Each student took what we learned and began blending engineering and technology to create prototype designs of their shelters. As we created scale drawings and scale models, we felt that we were on the right track but wanted to be sure. We presented our findings to a local architect to review our design ideas. This meeting opened our eyes to the practical and fiscal side of creating the shelters. The cost, materials, structure, and building techniques must all be considered. We learned about geothermal pipes, various insulation materials, solar panels, and details in wall sections during construction. Things may be bigger in Texas, but our journey to the solution is bigger than any storm we will face. Thanks to the support of our community, we believe that we have created a prototype that will help those devastated by storms. We present to you the Casa de Samsung, the critical, adoptable shelter for those needing assistance. This is a scale model of a prototype that we have created. Our vision is this. The next time disaster strikes our community, those who lose everything will be met with support from organizations such as FEMA and the American Red Cross. Our desire is to have their needs met through the Casa de Samsung. We want to make our casa a su casa.